Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this week's look at System Centre Essentials, or SKI, I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into the monitoring that this tool provides to you. I've got focus set on the monitoring tab here, and immediately you can see exactly what's going on with your machines in this one-page overview. And if anything is going wrong, you've got more resources down the right-hand side to guide you through how to fix them. The monitoring elements of System Centre Essentials have been inherited from its bigger brother, Operations Manager. And that surfaces in two ways. One, this all looks very much like Ops Manager. And two, Ski is also able to use the management packs that come with Operations Manager. If I go down to Administration here, you can see that I've got Recommended Management Pack Scan is enabled. In other words, Ski will automatically go and get those packs for me. And if I go to Management Packs here, you can see the ones that have been pulled in as a result of that scan. So going back to monitoring here, this, all this information has come from those management packs. I'm going to call out a few of these, I don't intend to go in every one, but as a DBA, the SQL Server tab caught my eye, and here I can see all the databases that Ski has found, and they're all nice and healthy, which is a good thing. If I click on one of those, perhaps the System Center Essentials database itself, and just bring the pane up here, I can find out all about it, how much space it's taking up, its collation order, and so on and so forth. Digging into Hyper-V, which also caught my eye, I can see the server role is healthy, not as much, too much to information here, and I can see the virtual machines that are running at the moment, all nice and healthy, as well as the virtual machine network, and more details about those are here as well, without me having to go anywhere else to get that information. I'm not running IS, so I'm going to ignore that one. If I go into Windows Server, then I can have a look at the Windows Server state for each one of these machines. If I pick on a particular machine, then I get more information here as well. One interesting way of looking at all of this is because all of my demo environment is based on virtual machines, I can go into the Virtual Machine Manager part of System Center Essentials and bring up this nice diagram view to show me what's going on. So here I've got Ski, my Ski box, I've got my host that it's managing, I've got its library server and I've got the database that it's using. If I expand out the hosts here, then here's the physical host that it's controlling, which is called Hot Black, and then underneath that I can see the virtual machines, and if I pick one of those, say one of the Windows 7 clients, then I've got all this information about the operating system, the disks, and so on, as well as the networks that it's using. I can get a similar world, view of the world in the Ops Manager diagram. So here we can see what machines are being managed. And then we can dive into one of those. Uh, I'll pick the same machine up to contrast to compare, which is the BI client here. And we can see the agents are all healthy and that that is being controlled back into here. As well as me whizzing around like this interactively, I can also run various reports. And we'll have a look at that when we get to the reporting section in more detail. That's all for this week. Next week we'll have a look at how updates are going to work in System Center Essentials.